Following the deformation metamorphism and granite protrusion of the Acadian collision, brittle deformation or the cracking of rocks occurred as Pangaea split apart. This cracking is represented by Claire sliding her fingers across the keys. This rifting created the Atlantic Ocean and caused fractures to form in all of the rocks throughout New England. The fractures are represented by these openings between the keys and the body of the saxophone. Magma from the mantle, represented by this saxophone body swell, rose and pooled to fill these cracks with the granite and metamorphic rocks. Look at the blue swab being pulled through the spaces in the keys. This represents the magma filling the fractures. Look, you can even see the foliated appearance of metamorphic rocks in the keys throughout the alternating dark and light colored layers. <laughs> this key here is an ideal representation of granite. That reddish gray hue mm, just screams a combination of feldspar and quartz. The magma then pooled to form basalt dikes. The magma then cooled to form basalt dikes. They are represented by the floral engravings on the saxophone. This took place in the Triassic to Jurassic period, which was approximately 180 million years ago. They pervade every rock phase in the presidential range. They can appear in the form of horizontal cracks extending several meters in length. 